Hi, my name is Adam Wilson. I'm the head instructor for Brisbane Taekwondo Centre. We're going to have a look at a self-defense against a shoulder grab. Now, if someone grabs onto my shoulder, he can grab directly. This is, of course, the most common thing someone's likely to do, or they might grab across. Okay, it's an uncommon thing, but it is a possibility, so we'll just touch on it while we're looking at shoulder grabs. So, uh, with a shoulder grab, we're going to use a similar defense that we do against a shirt grab. The reason we're doing that is if I can use a sequence that I'm familiar with, it makes it simpler. So I want to use, keep my self-defense as simple as possible so I know I can do it under pressure. All right, so we're going to look at sh shoulder grab direct. Obviously, if someone's grabbing your shoulder, okay, they may be pushing or pulling, so I'm going to get a foot forward or foot back, depending on where they're pushing me, get myself balanced, knees are bent, very important. The next thing to think about is even though he's grabbing my shoulder, what is he likely to do next? The thing is most likely to do next, of course, is to come in and punch me. So I'm going to use a uh, self-defense that will work whether he just grabs or whether he grabs and punches. Because if I get halfway through defending against just this arm and the punch comes, I'm already busy, okay, I'm likely to get hit, especially because we're so close together. All right, so because his arm's on my outside here, he's not really going to be coming across to, to punch in towards me especially if I put my hand there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously get myself balanced like we talked about and just come up to this arm. I don't need to strike his arm, obviously you can strike the arm, but you don't need to, okay? I'm just coming here to basically create a, a barrier between myself and him so I can't let go with that hand and suddenly punch me. All right, so this hand's here. With my spare hand, it's gonna come forward and across to strike the side of his face finishing over here. And again, what that does is give me protection against that spare hand. So if he did happen to punch, I'm here, here. Now, of course, when anyone punches, I try and move to the side as well. So one and two. Without the punch, it just looks like this. One, two. Now, from here, I'd add a third strike coming straight in with my palm. Okay, so one, two, three is the sequence I'm doing. Very simple. Now, if he did happen to punch, like we just saw, Okay, one, two, three. Exactly the same thing. I didn't need to really change anything. The only little adaption I made was moving to the side. Okay, so what I'm doing with my hands is coming up one, two, three. Okay, very simple defense against the shoulder grab. Okay, a direct shoulder grab. Now we're gonna look at the situation where he's grabbing diagonally across. So he's grabbing this opposite shoulder. As we mentioned earlier, this is a little bit of a strange sort of grab but it can happen. One thing is if the arm's straight, they're obviously exposed, then I could just strike directly onto the arm, okay? But often if people are pushing and pulling, the arm's not gonna be straight, it's gonna be bent a little bit, okay? So they can use some force to, to push and pull. So uh, if someone's very strong, it's not always easy to straighten their arm out and strike. So I'm gonna look at something simple where I can just build off this bent arm, okay? So from here, I'm just gonna hit down into that arm and work with the bend that he's already got there. Whether his arm bends or not, it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect our defense. Okay, so I'm coming down. I'm going to come forward using exactly what we did before. Forward and across, and then into strike. Okay, obviously if they're tall, you might get caught on this shoulder. I could strike underneath if I had to, or just lift my elbow and do a more hooking type punch. So I just adapt depending on whether they're tall or shorter or what I need to do. So from here, one, two, three. Okay, very simple defense against the shoulder grab that goes diagonally across.